I can't believe I'm about to do this. Finally showing you my official Montreal Loft apartment tour. Let's get started. And what I didn't tell you guys is that I actually can't stand all the way up here, so. And just so many lovely mornings have been spent sitting right here on the couch with a cup of tea. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am finally filming my Montreal apartment tour. This is so incredibly long overdue. I am both excited and nervous and feeling so many different emotions of sharing my apartment with the world. I moved into this apartment in the summer of 2019. So I've lived here for about three and a half years. It has been so special living here, so exciting. This apartment has so many emotions and memories for me. And the reason I never ever got around to filming an apartment tour was because because I loved this apartment so much that I wanted whatever video I made showing this apartment, like whatever official apartment tour I made, I wanted it to be perfect. And what tends to happen when you wait for things to get perfect is that they never get done. So three and a half years later, I'm finally sitting here ready to film this video. This apartment is a loft. So there's actually two floors and there's an upper mezzanine where I sleep. You guys will see all of that in the apartment tour, but. What is so special about this apartment is it's not a new build, it's not like, you know, a brand new apartment, it's not a cookie cutter apartment. This was actually a converted old factory that they converted into loft apartments. It's in an incredible neighborhood in Montreal. There are trees and parks all around. Um, I've been able to live here with my dog and it's just been such a wonderful apartment. This is my first ever apartment where I was living alone. I went through COVID here, like so many memories, so many emotions, like I've said. And so, yeah, just to be leaving is kind of crazy, but that's life. We all move along in our lives. And so I really hope that you enjoy this apartment tour. It's going to be one of the last times that we see this apartment. And when this video goes up, this apartment will probably already be rented. So, so I won't be living here anymore, which is wild. So if you guys are ready, I don't know if I'm ready, but let me show you my apartment. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Finally showing you my official Montreal Loft apartment tour. Let's get started. Okay, let's walk over to my entrance and let's do this. Right behind me here is the front door. When you first walk into my place, you actually walk into a little vestibule. So now I'm standing outside of it looking in. That is the front door I was just standing in front of. And I have it set up with these coat hooks and this shoe rack. These are both from Ikea. I keep like my reusable tote bags here, all of my winter stuff in there, some slippers up there and shoes and boots here. <laughs> it's really nice to have this vestibule. You can see how nasty things get here in Montreal with like the salt and the rocks. So it's just really nice to have this. It helps keep the apartment a bit clean. And these actually shouldn't be there. I hung them there to dry, but this is my doggy hook. So all of Baggy's leashes, the towel I use to dry her paws, all of that goes in here. And it's really nice because I can just shut the door and all of that goes away. I live alone, so I have this for, you know, some added safety. So when you close this door, we've got this cute little mirror right here. This was pretty old. This actually came from, I think it's from Ikea, and I had this in my university dorm room. So when you first walk in, let's stand kind of right here. This is what you see. This is my kitchen. I'm so lucky to have such a large, spacious kitchen, but I really had to work hard to make this kitchen like nice and functional. So everything you see here is all of the very functional stuff. None of this came with the apartment. This was pretty much, you know, the kitchen, which is pretty standard. However, it's just not, you know, the most functional. All right, so looking at the kitchen from here, we can see it's pretty classic. We just have my fridge. This is a smaller fridge. I think it's considered to be apartment size. It's very narrow. Fridge on top, freezer on the bottom. And then over here, this is like my little favorite section. It's my tea section. So I've got my kettle, 
I keep some cookbooks back there. This is an advent calendar from Christmas that I'm still working on finishing. Um, I keep like filtered water. This is some needlepoint my sister made for me when I moved in. And this is my tea cabinet. It's currently, you know, thinning out because I've got this giant advent calendar and I'm working on finishing up all of my tea, but I love tea so much. We have a classic stove and oven, the microwave, all of this is storage. Up at the very top, it's not actually reachable. I can't even really like open it. I need to stand on a chair. So I keep like my stash of toilet paper and paper towel up there. That one I keep outdoor stuff. And then in here I keep Tupperware and some to-go cups. In here I keep spices, oils, and my blender. Tea I already showed you guys. And here is where I keep my everyday kind of dishware. In case anyone is from Montreal or Ottawa, this kind of area, all of my dishware comes from Zone. They have the best, most affordable dishware. This is my like sink and dishwasher. My dishwasher doesn't work super well actually, so I just avoid using it. I wash everything by hand, hang it up to dry on this rack here. Here is where I keep just pots and pans, everything for cooking. Cutlery in here, you know, the basics. Under here is cleaning supplies and in this drawer as well is more cleaning supplies. This I actually use as like a pantry. I keep my toaster in here so that it's a bit out of sight. And then I have some stuff for like baking, a pizza menu that I refuse to throw out. I don't know why, Ziploc bags. It's a mess, we'll close it. And this drawer is a mess as well. It's just, you know, unorganized kitchen necessities. Alrighty. This right here is kind of my pride and joy. So I mentioned this kitchen wasn't super functional. When I moved in, there was so little counter space to cook or to really do anything that I knew I had to get an island. I also needed more storage space than what this kitchen just kind of offers on its own. So crazy, crazy bougie me as I was almost four years ago, I found this guy, actually a friend recommended, I don't regret buying this. It's a beautiful piece of furniture, but my friend recommended me this guy who does his own woodworking, makes custom pieces. And so I had this kind of custom made from like a design that he had already done. This is made with Quebec wood. It's made here in Quebec. It's obviously, you know, so beautiful, but this was very expensive. So this is like my pride and joy piece of furniture it was like the first kind of expensive big piece of furniture that I bought. It was also like brand new kind of made for me. So anyways, I love, love, love this. And I hope to have it for many, many years. Although it doesn't fit where I'm going now, I'm gonna keep holding on to it. Underneath, I keep supplements and spices, cutting boards. And this tray is for when I eat um, at the TV. That's for watering my plants and just flour and stuff like that. Moving over here, I keep my dog's food and water bowl. So these wardrobes here were an absolute essential that I added in because the thing with this apartment is it really doesn't have a lot of storage. So I bought these from Ikea. This is a three and then a two. Um, I forget the name of this thing, but you guys might've seen them before. They're pretty classic. In here, it's a bit of a mess, but I'll just show you quickly. I keep my winter coats. I keep some stuff underneath for my dog. This is like Maggie's shelf. And then I have a little bit of storage under here as well. But all of these winter coats would have had nowhere to go. And obviously in Canada and Montreal, it's so essential to have a spot to put my many winter coats. Here's more storage. I keep scarves and hats, bags, more bags, and my ski stuff plus a hot water bottle is on the bottom shelf. And here is my cleaning cupboard. So I, this was my friend Michaela's idea. She's so genius. We made these kind of little rig things to hold my Swiffer and my mop, everything like that. I've got my vacuum in there. And then this side is all of my gardening stuff for all of my plants. Okay, moving over here. This is my coffee slash alcohol station-ish. I bought this bar cart off of Facebook Marketplace. I really, really love it. It's so nice just to have a coffee station in my apartment. I love it. This is my meager alcohol selection. It's all stuff that people have left at my house. And then this is some more little add-ons that I use less frequently for my coffee. So we have cinnamon, sugar, and some mint syrup. We've got a little matcha, my Nespresso pods, and my Nespresso machine. And I kept this snake plant in here just to kind of liven up the place. 
a lamp in the kitchen because it gets so dark in here. Oh yeah, and up here, these are just little memory things. So all of these bottles have like a little special significance to them. And this cowboy hat was from one of my favorite birthday parties that I ever had as an adult. Um, was a cowboy theme, so I just keep that up there as little memories. Oh yeah, and the table. This is an amazing piece of furniture. I got this past summer, which I am taking with me to the new apartment. It's just a round dining table. This was brand new. I bought it off Facebook Marketplace from a lady who stages apartments. So I got this whole set brand new for like $500, which is amazing. It's originally from Structube and I love it. It's really nice because as you can see, it reflects the light of the windows, which helps brighten up this room. This is one of my least favorite rooms or actually is my least favorite room in the apartment. I know the way it looks on camera right now, it looks really great, but in terms of living in this room and like cooking and spending time, it's extremely dark. I'm filming at a very bright point of the day right now, but as soon as the sun goes down, it's basically pitch black in here. This wall used to be gray. You're gonna see the color on the other side, but we painted it white this past summer, which really helped as well. So it's kind of just been like a constant improvement, this kitchen. And now I finally got it, you know, almost to perfection and I'm leaving. The only thing that's missing would be like an art piece right there. All right, bye bye kitchen, let's move on. This is the bathroom. It is very small, but it does the trick. We've got a lot of storage in here. One, two, three cabinets. I've got this nice um, material shower curtain as opposed to plastic. I got this at HomeSense and I got this at HomeSense as well. Just like a nice bath mat. Here's the inside of my shower, nothing crazy. I like to brush my teeth in the shower. Does anyone else do that? My friends say it's weird, but I love brushing my teeth. And my current project is to downsize the amount of stuff I actually have in my shower. I used to have this like layered kind of tree back here and I've downsized just to that. But it's really nice to have a bathtub and a shower so I can do both. I really, really like this bathroom. The last thing is actually right behind me over here, which is my washer and dryer, which I have to take that stuff out and I have to take this out to dry. But this is so nice to have. Moving into this apartment was the first time I ever had a washer dryer in my unit. And my gosh, am I ever grateful for it. I love it so much. <laughs> you guys know I always talk about True Earth. This is my little True Earth stash up here. And we'll just shut the door on that. These were gifts, but man, do they ever look fancy. And then just inside the cupboards is like my toothbrushes, my makeup, you know, all the usual stuff. Okay, coming out of the bathroom, we go into my favorite part of the apartment, which is probably the part my viewers, you guys see the most, which is my living room. I feel like when you walk into the apartment, this is the room that really makes you go, wow, it's just so spacious. There's so much light. Like to have a corner unit like this is absolutely amazing with all of these windows. Not to mention you guys, how high the ceilings are. I, I know that I will never have a room like this in my house probably ever again. And that's very, you know, crazy to think. I'm so grateful that I got to experience living in this amazing room and just, having friends over here. Oh, anyways, I could get emotional. But you guys don't wanna hear about that. You just wanna see my decor. So this is like the TV side of the wall. This I got off of Facebook Marketplace for a really good deal. I bought it off a couple who was moving along with this table. These shelves my dad helped me make. It's literally just a piece of wood and some pipes from Home Depot. And I decorated it with just plants and books, kind of my signature look. I find plants and books are the best way to decorate on a budget because they're not too expensive. You might already have them and they really show off your personality. Like, you know, having some of your favorite books on display really says a lot about a person and you just know like, okay, that's Zoe's favorite books. I've got a salt lamp there, which is really nice for when I come and sit on the couch and do my journaling in the morning when it's dark, I just turn that on. I keep like some stuff in here for storage. This area here is really cute. It's got my record player on it, which was a gift from my dad. This bowl was a gift. It's actually an art piece from my uncle. All of my old journals, so every time I fill up a journal, I stack it there. And that painting um, was made by my sister. So it's all very sentimental over here. More plants and books on this shelf. Looking over here, you see my couch. This was a hand-me-down from my aunt. 
the table was from Facebook Marketplace, like I said. And this piece in the back, that wooden piece is amazing. It allows me to have the couch further out, which makes the room a little bit cozier as opposed to having the couch against the wall and really far from the TV, plus having like dead space in the middle of the room. So I got that kind of table so that when I sit, I could have my tea next to me and have my book and just kind of prop stuff up against the couch, make it a little bit more practical. And again, this table was made by a Quebecois woodworking guy who made this table for me and I love it. I just found him on Facebook Marketplace too. Like it's really, it's pretty easy to find these really talented people who can make unique furniture pieces from you, especially make them locally. I think that's amazing. I keep a duvet. In here, I keep a duvet for when it's really cold and I also keep lotion for like when I get out of the shower, I like to sit on the couch and put lotion on. Over here, it's kind of an eyesore, but I just keep my globe and a plant. And this is my little workout slash yoga basket. I keep like weights and all of that in there. My sun lamp is that white thing. And this is a back roller that cracks your back for you. It's awesome. Plus there we have my giant Monstera in the back. This Monstera is my pride and joy. I grew it from like a very small, pretty small plant and now it is this big old monstrosity. I've used it to make so many like babies and other plants. I love this plant so much. This is an old chair I found like on the side of the street or something. I use it to prop it up so you can see the plant in its full splendor. And here's another view of that table. I like to keep like just some like inspiring books out here as like a daily kind of calm reminder and a calm feeling. Inside this teacup, I keep a pen for journaling and also my face oil and my gua sha in here for doing my skincare um, while I sip my tea and I use these coasters to put my tea down. And just so many lovely mornings have been spent sitting right here on the couch with a cup of tea beside me. This is a view that you guys see in a lot of my videos. How many videos have I sat here and filmed with this background? This right here, this kind of coffee table setup is probably one of my favorite pieces in the apartment. I also got this, like I said, off Facebook Marketplace. These two vases are from Must Society and I just put some dried eucalyptus and dried lavender in there and I keep these like aesthetic journals out by it. And I just like this for like taking photos or just having an aesthetic moment um, in my house. Okay, now I'm standing next to my couch with my back to the windows. This is another really special view of the apartment. The stairs make it look so grand and so cool. I just love this view. Actually, as I'm looking at it through the camera, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss it. But. Let's go over here. Let me show you this table, this kind of setup here because I love it so much. We all have to have like a junk bowl, right? Somewhere in our house. This is mine. This is where like I come in the house, I throw stuff that I don't know where to deal with it. It, it all goes in there. But this table, this marble table is from Structube. It's absolutely gorgeous and was again one of the first pieces I bought, like brand new furniture pieces when I moved here. I love it so much. I don't know where it's gonna go in my new kind of life, but I hope to be able to fit it in because I love it so much. I've got the pompous grass next to it, this snake plant, and this mirror was a gift from my stepmom. It was like a graduation gift. So this whole little section I really love. I find it very pleasing aside from the junk in that bowl. This chest actually came from one of my childhood homes. It, we used to keep our stuffed animals in it, my brother and I, so it's pretty special. I use it to keep some linens in there and it's just a few other things like old DVDs that I don't know what to do with, but I'm emotionally attached to. This plant, yes, okay, it looks like it's dying, but it will come back to life. I neglected it for a weekend and uh, it's mad at me, but I assure you it will come back to life. This is a peace lily and it's one of my favorite plants that I have. Let's go upstairs now because I wanna end with my office, which is my next favorite room in the house. So my bedroom is upstairs. Now, when I moved into this place, the tenant before me used this room down here, which is my office as a bedroom and he put his office upstairs, but I felt it would be so cozy and kind of cave-like to have my bed up there. So let's go explore. We're gonna go up the stairs. Okay, so this is my bedroom. It's truly nothing special. I mean, it's really not crazy at all, but it's very cozy. I find it very peaceful. When I moved into this apartment and started sleeping up here, I started having some of the best sleeps that I had in my life. I don't know, it was just so cozy. I also think the fact that it's just a bedroom, like I can't work up here, I can't 
really do anything else up here. Like it's totally just a bedroom. Really isolated sleeping from any other activity in the house, which helped me sleep really well. This dresser is a really, really old dresser. I think me and all of my siblings had it in our bedrooms and my dad gave it to me when I moved in here and I painted it white, which just made it a little bit more matchy-matchy with the rest of the place. It used to be like an orange kind of wood color, but it was really nice to bring this along with me. On top, we have my salt lamp, my Google Home, my Concordia degree, as well as my numerology chart, um, which was made for me by a yogi when I was a little girl. There's also this little card that my sister wrote for me slash my puppy when I first got her. I don't actually use a bedside table. I just use this little stool, which is pretty nice. This art, I think it's crooked, but I got that off of Society6. I just really loved how luxurious and cozy she looked in that picture. I've got this lamp from Ikea up here. And what I didn't tell you guys is that I actually can't stand all the way up here. So if I were to like stand straight, I have to bend like this. So that's why you can't really do any other activities up here. Um, it's, you know, you can't, you can't stand all the way up. And I'm five, six about. So yeah, if you're really tall, you're not gonna fit. But again, for sleeping, it just makes it so cozy. Now back there is this little nook that is really not good for much except storage. So I have a bookshelf back there again. Oh my God. You guys, I actually found that bookshelf on the side of the road. They were throwing it out and I took it and I painted it white and I made it work. So from here, you can also get a glimpse of the apartment, the living room, the kitchen. I feel so lucky to have this loft and that it's actually usable because it gives me so many extra square feet of room to like have a bed and have more storage. And that is what allows me to have my own office and have things be separated. So this is my office slash closet. We will go down in a second. It is probably my favorite room in the house. It is the room that I decorated the fastest and the most easily. It just all fell together so naturally. So let's go take a look. Now, obviously there's no door, there's no way to close it, but you do kind of have to walk through this little part right here, which makes it feel like you are entering the office and this is what it looks like. I get a lot of questions about this desk. This desk is originally from Structube, but I found it on Facebook Marketplace. It is unbelievable how perfect it was. Like it's almost a perfect match between the stairs and or the stairs and the desk. And the way that it fits so perfectly between the stairs and the wall, it was all just meant to be. I love this desk so much because I have room to have my computer set up and have my notes and just when I'm working, really spread everything out around me and it's so nice. This lamp is from Ikea. All of the little wood and the desk organizer under, this is all from Grove Made. They make really amazing desk supplies. I've got a plant. I've got my little money shrine from my friend Mary. That vase is from Walmart and I got this dried cotton from a florist. And this mirror is actually a part of the set that I had mentioned upstairs, that dresser. This was the original color, so like a brownish orange. I just kind of liked the way the mirror looked there and I didn't bother painting it or anything. So yeah, that is my desk. Underneath this blanket is my desk chair from Ikea. I just keep this blanket here to stay warm. Plus it matches with, you know, some of my desk supplies. And I always keep my agenda and my journal out for easy access. And usually my desk isn't clean like this. There's usually stuff all over it, but for the video, I tidied up. Now turning over here, this is like my dressing room. I was working full-time corporate when I first moved in here and I wanted every single day to feel like I was shopping in a clothing store, but really it's just my closet. So that's why I set it up like this and I still love it. On this rack, I will put out the clothes that I wear the most, that I wore recently, or anything that's in my closet that I haven't worn in a while that I wanna wear, I'll like bring it out as a reminder for me to wear it. I like having my clothes on display. I know it can look a little bit cluttered, but for me, I just love clothes, and so I love having this rack right here. You guys might be very familiar with this egg sweater. She is always on display, my pride and joy. We hung this plant from the ceiling and it's so long now. Like when I first repotted it, when I first repotted it into this white pot, it probably only went to here and now it's like about to drag on the floor. This mirror I got for like 60 bucks, I think years ago. When did I get it? It was a long time ago um, from HomeSense. So really, really like this mirror. It does the job. It's full length. You can take selfies in it. 
And then behind this door is my closet. Brace yourself because it is messy in there. I basically just threw everything that I didn't know where to put for this video. I basically threw it here. So let's see. This is my closet. It's a good size walk-in closet. Um, I also use it to store some of my filming equipment. There's a TV in here right now. Don't ask me why I keep my laundry in there. This is all just like extra storage. Behind the door is this dresser that also matches that set. I painted it when I moved in here and it's really nice just for extra folded storage. This is all just like clutter. Gingerbread house, what's that doing there? Don't ask. This wall is another little pride passion of mine. I made this right at the beginning of the pandemic. I found old frames, painted some of them gold, and just made this little collage with mostly all photos that I've taken. The only two that are not from my own camera hands are this one, which is a photo that I bought in Australia from like a professional Australian photographer. And this was a little New York souvenir uh, that I bought in New York City. So the rest of these are all like photos from mostly Australia, mostly from my adventures in Australia. Those flowers in there, I pressed and dried again at the beginning of the pandemic. Don't know why I wanted to memorialize my COVID flowers, but anyways. And this was a photo from a cafe here in Montreal. It's kind of hard to see with the glare and like this weird angle, but these are the pools at Bondi Beach in Australia. I took this photo and put this crazy Lightroom preset on it. And it is to this day, one of my favorite photos that I have ever taken. And this was done by a drone, but it's just so beautiful. Like the waves crashing over this rock pool. I could stare at it for hours. I think it's so, so, so beautiful. And in the middle, we have photos with friends. This was all on exchange in Australia, which at this point now is like four years ago, which is insane. But I really just love having this wall of memories. I think it looks great and it's so nice to have. And that's a wrap, you guys, on my apartment tour, my Montreal loft, my very first big girl apartment, the place where I learned to live alone, that I did COVID, like this apartment is so meaningful to me. So I'm so glad to have this on film. I hope you enjoyed the apartment tour. Hope you like this apartment. I'm starting to feel in my feels because I just can't believe I'm leaving here, but on to new and more exciting things, I guess. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep up with the like apartment stuff and the moving content, make sure you're subscribed because that is all coming very, very soon. I have so many things to do and to decorate and to move and to declutter. So yeah, I would love for you to stick around for that. Stick around with my channel. Love you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.